Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Grown Clip Bonsai for Seniors. Today is February 26th of 2024 at 6 p.m. It's a Tuesday at 68 degrees Fahrenheit or 20 degrees Celsius. And I should have made the video what a difference a day makes because tonight it's dropping to 28 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 2 degrees Celsius with possible snow. So I had whatever, uh, I had about four trees in the greenhouse, so I brought them in right away. What a difference. Today, we're remembering Mama. And why am I doing it now? Because Mother's Day isn't until uh, until May. Because we're going to prepare a nice rose for her. So we're going to use a rose, and I'm going to use our, uh, the, the cactus mix from uh, Ted's Greenhouse out in Tinley Park. And I found this statue of a, of a, of a mother with a little one at the thrift store and I, don't, I forgot what the price was I think it was like two bucks so I washed it up real good and we'll put that in the dish here and I got a little squirrel here so we could put in our dish and in our dish I drilled a hole with my uh, my diamond drill bit but how did I do the slots you can see the slots I put in well, my iron wood tool, sharpening tool, is a diamond one, so it cut through here real nice and easy, so it was easy to make the slots real nice. So, iron wood tools come in handy. I'll bet your bottom dollar on that. Okay, so let's get the rows. Now you're going to say, Tom, there's, there's about three or four in here. I know that, but all we're going to use is one. So what I'm going to do... Is very carefully now you can go and, and they'll probably still have some old roses on sale so go to the store and check it out and if not just just uh, get one I mean they're not expensive right now you got to get them before the holidays so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this rose here and all I'm gonna do is cut into the soil like that I'm just gonna cut let me pull this down so you can see what I'm doing. All I'm doing is cutting into the soil because that's how we're going to separate it. Because I'm not going to be able to work on these roses yet. So I'm cutting here. I'm just cutting into the soil. Just cutting. You're going to say, Tom, how do you know what roots you're cutting? Well, we'll see when we get it apart. So that one's still a little tough there, so we're just going to cut, cut until it frees itself off. Now what am I going to do with this? I'm going to put it back in, but I'm going to hold it here like that. And then all I'm going to do is take some of my fast draining mix and put it inside until we can work on these later. So right now we'll just put that in, just for the time being, and that way there they'll be able to uh, probably make some new roots until I can get them, but just for now, I want to put those, pull those apart later, another video, maybe we'll try to make a forest out of them. So let's put this on the side. Time you got still a mess here. I know I've been working outside, so I'm going to take my uh, two prong barbecue steak fork, stainless steel. It's hard like a rock. I like this one for doing the roots. Now, those of you who like to use a root hook, there's a fellow by the name of Matt on uh, Bobcat Cat Bonsai who makes root hooks. So, if you want a root hook, see him, he makes some real good ones. with this two prong one it works out real good and you can see the nice root system on it just like that but now, now we're going to have to prune it back okay Tom what would you do with your tools uh, da, 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 da. here it is I'll take my ironwood tool because you know nothing cuts wood like ironwood and we're going to try to keep this in an upright situation there so I'm going to take 
this one off. I'll put it in water. Maybe I can root it later. And this one here is growing on the inside. So we're going to keep these two over here. So I'm just going to take this one off. Put that in there. And then, remember, look for the brain. So the last time we cut this one, that looks like a node there, but it's hard like a rock. So that might have been, we're going to put it right above here because there's a node right there or the brain. That's going to tell it either to root or to grow a new leaf. And then we're all doing directional pruning because I got that one out. Now this one's going into it. We don't want to do it going in. So we're going to take this one here where the node is growing out. And we're going to cut it here. And then we're going to cut it back to here because there's a node coming out this way for clip and grow. So that's directional pruning right there. So a little bit above. Now this one's coming this way, even though you want it a little higher. But I'm going to take this one and have it come out like that and then we're going to cut this dead piece off right here cut this piece off right there there's another dead piece there some of these we can pull some of these we just cut another dead piece there now these dead ones so I get them out of the way because this soil I'm going to put and reuse it because it's still good and these thorns stick on these little ones, so I'm just going to wet my roots, keep it wet until we can get the pot ready. Get this out of here. And on Mother's Day, sometimes I like to watch that old show. I don't know if you remember, it's way back in the day, it's called I Remember Mama. That was a good show. Very good show. So always remember your mother. Well, mine's, mine died. She passed away a long time ago. Same thing with my grandmother's. But uh, if your mom's still alive, hey, find something to make it nice for her. Get an old dish like I did. Throw a hole in there. I got my screen inside. Right here. Put it in. And we're going to open up Ted's Mix. Ted's is in Tinley Park. He's got a good uh, cactus mix and he's got good soil mixes. So all I'm going to do is mix it up, mix it up a little bit because I had it sitting all discombobulated in the corner there. There we go. He's got a good, good, good mix. Okay, Tom, here's your little measuring cup. You can see how nice the soil is. Gonna put it in like that. Just gonna keep it out a little bit. And we're gonna take this one out. And these thorns are something else. They're small, but they're sticky. And then I always use this tool for roots. And this one's curling around, so we're gonna just cut it here. And the rest, I think, are pretty good. We'll just get those hanging roots out of the way. And then I got my uh, bamboo chopstick. These are nice because they're nice and smooth. No, no ragged edges, nothing. And we'll just take that out. Now, there, there's a metal one. I know I got a metal one someplace around here. I'll show you that one because I got that at my... At, uh, I forgot what store they gave it to me. Or my niece gave it to me. I forgot who gave it to me. But there we go. There's our little rows. There's our roots. And just to put it in like this. And what I'm going to do is take my spoon. And I'm just going to put a little mound in the middle there. Because I got this little opening right here. Right over there. And that way there, there's no air pocket. Try to get it as centered as we can. That the roots all are combed out real nice. There we go. And now, I'll 
take this out. And we'll sprinkle it a little bit there. Hey, give Bob Bonsai a, a look. Because Matt even made a, a root rake. Almost just like Nigel's almost. He was pretty good at the head. But if you need a root hook, he, he's got it. I got plenty of my my stuff here. I like this one. But for root hooks, the best ones he makes them. So don't worry. Give his give get a check out Matt's site and he can I don't know how much his root hooks are, but check it out and he'll he'll let you know the price. So we're just gonna keep this here. Put that up over there. A little bit there. And a little bit around. Now later on when I go to the fish store, I can get some gravel to put around it. Right now I'm really low. I could put sand on here, but I don't think it'll look nice. Because then it'd be like a desert scene. And then, and then need something small to poke because that's a little thick. I'm just going to take my two prong uh, fork and just in and out, in and out. Real easy on this one because the roots are real small and thin. So we want to get this tree off, this uh, rose off to a good start. And roses bloom all, all, all year long. All you got to do is, I give it a, my, I give mine a rest period, at least a month. When they start to get uh, looking ragged, I prune them, put them in the basement, let them rest for the winter time, and they wake up on their own time. So there we go on that. And then we'll take Mr. Elephant and we'll water it in nice and slow. You can see how fast Ted's mix goes. And get yourself a turntable. They got a lot of them. Now, any air pockets will, with the watering, dissipate because the water will flush the soil into the roots. There, just like that. And we'll get our spoon and put a little more on top. And he's got some nice lava rock in there, but mixed with pearl, uh, pearlite. You can see the mix real good. I like this mix. And he sells it by the bushel. You can get a bushel, I think it's $12.99. But check it out at Ted's. I'm going to have to get a bushel of this stuff later. There. Just like that. Just like that. I'm going to say, Tom, what's the front of the pot? Well, it's round. Take anything as a front. And just get it in. Well, you can see the water drained out real fast. We're just going to put it there. Let it get a good soak. Close up our bag. I'll close it up later. I put this on there so I don't lose nothing. We got everything in there. And I'll have to find a little something to decorate it. Because with this crazy water, I've been working outside like a nut. i got to do the fish yet. Uh, here's my paper towels. Wipe the hands. Ain't got a paper towel, wipe them in your pants. Because that's why God made pants. And then all I'm going to do is stick the squirrel here. And then, after the cutting... See what I got. We'll give it a nice, nice red color on there. So if you give it to your mother to let her to let it grow, that's all you gotta do. It's gonna get some nice little red color on it. Better than cut paste. I'm gonna leave this in the basement because. I'm not going to put it outside, even if it gets warmer until the 
Let's get established. See, with lipstick, you can stick it out like that, and you can get it into the tight places. Just like that. And I think we got everything pretty well ship shape. Whoop. Just cut this dead piece off that I didn't see. There we go. Take that off. A little dab of lipstick. I don't know if you guys remember the old Brill Cream commercial. The little dab will do ya. There we go. Close it up. Nice little red color. And then how are you going to display it? Well, this is a mess. So let's put this here. The soil can soak that up. And we'll get this out of the way. Move it. And then you can get a little dish. This is just a plastic dish I got. Like that. And then just wipe it off real good. And that, later on I'll find something, something nice to put in here. Because I don't want to put sand in there. You could probably put uh, nice pebbles in here so she can have a nice dish. And this is just a microgreen dish. So you can have it like that. Or we can have it like this as the front and there you go I don't know if you can see it but there it is our nice little gift for mama we can start growing it and once it starts growing and puts out roses you can always find something different like a flat tree or something but like this, it can be sitting up on pebbles and whatever water drains out, it can go into the tray like that and go from there. Thrift store, two bucks. I've got this dish in Chinatown because all the other ones didn't grow in it. I don't know why. Mainly because I was busier and I probably forgot to water them. You know how that goes. Get a little squirrel there looking up at the tree, take the dead leaf off rows there and everything's good so there's no going to be no wind knocking this around go out and look for a nice sale on rose bushes the little ones the mini ones they got them all over the place now's the time to look so you take care everybody today is tuesday detective night and nigel j marisol that's Nigel from the Bonsai Zone, Jay from Blue Jay Bonsai, and Marisol from Frostbite Bonsai. Duck, as Red Skeleton Slate would say, here comes a flock of them. And man, there was flocks of geese going north today. And I think it was Friday or Saturday, I forget, but they were in formation because I heard them honking. So you take everybody, cup of tea, detective night, sit back, relax, Sherlock Holmes, gangbusters, or uh, whatever you want to listen to. <laughs> Dragnet. Man, long day. Need a break. Take care, everybody.